Today's video is going to be about my favorite Louis Vuitton travel piece, and that is none other than the Nice BB. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on this and seeing what will fit inside, then just keep watching. I want to introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha. I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And for my returning subscribers, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. All right, so today we are here to talk all about this beauty. This is the Louis Vuitton Nice BB. The Nice comes in multiple sizes. It comes in the regular Nice. It comes in the Nice BB, which is the one I have. It also comes in the Nice Mini, which is smaller than this one. And then the smallest size is the Nice Nano. All of the bags in the Nice line are meant for travel. They are travel pieces. Louis Vuitton also has some bags that look like vanity cases that are actually handbags. So I just wanted to make sure you all were aware of that this is an actual travel piece and that's how I use it. I do not use it as a handbag. I know when this bag came out, a lot of people were using it as a handbag because I mean, it's so cute, but that's just not for me, honestly. But I have seen some videos where people use it as a handbag and it looks cute. I just don't know how well that will bode for the bag for long term. Anyway, let's get into how this beauty looks. My handle is wrapped, but I'll uncover it there for you. It does have Vachetta at the top and the handle, let's see. I really don't want to unwrap this because <laughs> I'm not great at wrapping these and I feel like it took me a long time to wrap it. So I will insert a picture of how it looks on the Louis Vuitton website so you can see that, but I'll also kind of show you what I can. So like I said, the handle is Vachetta. It has these two tabs on each end and then there is a metal piece here that's gold hardware as typical and then the top is just like a regular handle and it has louis vuitton paris i believe stamped on the top handle like i said i'll go ahead and insert that picture for you guys from the louis vuitton website so you can see it without my bandeau on it and i might as well mention because i know i'm going to get questions about this bandeau Unless you are an avid LV lover, then I know you know this bandeau, but this is a Louis Vuitton bandeau, and this is from the Steven Sprouse collection, I believe. I've had this bandeau for years, so it is no longer available, but it is beautiful. It's my favorite one that I've ever seen from Louis Vuitton. I do have another bandeau from Louis Vuitton, and I do like a lot of their designs, but this is hands down my favorite one. Also at the top of the bag, you do have this Vachetta trim, all around goes all around to the back you have your zipper which is gold hardware and then the bottom of the bag has more of a shed of trim and again it goes all the way around and then on the bottom you just have the plain monogram canvas so let me go ahead and open the bag so you can see what it looks like inside. Now mine is chock full of stuff because I left it stuffed so you can see what fits inside this bag. But once we do the what's in my bag portion, I will show you it empty. But just so you can see what it looks like all full, and mine is really full. <laughs> okay, had to unzip it all the way. But this is what it looks like on the inside. It's just a big hole. You do have a couple pockets here in the front of the bag and a slip pocket in the back but like i said once we get into the what's in my bag portion of this video i'll show you more detail but i did want to also show you this zipper at the top um, that is an, also a space that you can put items in so right now i'm going to show you what's in my bag and all of this stuff is actual stuff that i took with me on vacation i left it packed up for you all because i wanted to make this very realistic i'm actually probably going on a little overnight trip with my family and a couple in probably about a month and so I may just leave it packed after this video I don't know but <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys what I really took with me on the trip so you can see how much fits into this vanity case okay so here she is sitting pretty um, I did mess up my <laughs> my tie on my bandeau when I was trying to show y'all earlier but I'll have to fix that later anyway we're gonna look to see what's inside and I remember this is really full so don't judge here I have it open and you can see it's full to the brim I'm gonna unzip this so you can see what I put in here. I typically put my makeup brushes in here. Now some brushes are too long, so you will see I have one in the bottom of my bag, but I typically put my makeup brushes in there. So right now I had four brushes and a mascara in there. So 
You can see all of that fit in there nicely. No bulging really. And then in here, I keep little um, bags typically. So because I went on airplane travel, I have my liquids in a bag. So <clears throat> inside this bag, I have my Tom Ford Soleil Blanc Shimmering Body Oil. The perfume I took with me was Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. I have a video talking all about my vacation perfumes and which ones I took with me. So if you want to know more about the two fragrances I'm going to share, then make sure you watch that video. I will link it. Um, but this is Soleil Blanc. And then I also took Nishane Fan Your Flames. And then the last item I had in here was just this toner from Clarins. This is the travel size. And that was all that was in this bag. If you, I got these bags from Target from the dollar spot. I'm not sure if they're still available, but if they are, I'll see if I can link them. Uh, but I have another bag in here, and this one has my actual makeup in it. This is all the makeup I took with me. So I have my Fenty Ease Drops uh, Skin Tint. I have a beauty blender that I need to wash. I have my concealer, which is the Born This Way uh, concealer from Too Faced. I have in the shade Butterscotch. I took this palette from NARS. This is an old palette, so it's no longer available, but this is the Atomic Blonde palette, which has my bronzer, highlight, and the eyeshadows that I took with me. I also took this separate eyeshadow from Marc Jacobs. This is Topaz Flash Sequins. And I've actually never used this, guys. But that's what it looks like. Very pretty. Didn't use it on the trip either. <laughs> For my setting powder, I took this little miniature Laura Mercier powder in the shade Honey. Blush, I took Savage from NARS, which is one of my faves. And that's what it looks like. Other blush I took with me is very beat up, but it's one of my favorites. This is Taj Mahal from NARS. Eyebrow pencil from Maybelline. And then the lip products I took with me are this one from Lip Bar. This is a liquid lipstick in the shade Prom Queen. And then I have a liquid lipstick from KVD Beauty, and this is in the shade Bow and Arrow. A Pat McGrath lip gloss. This is in the shade Faux Real. This is one of my favorites. And then I also took another liquid lipstick from Colored Rain. And this one is Cherry Blossom. All right, so we still got a lot more in there. So this stuff is just like skincare, body care. So for lotion, I took this travel size from Nivea. It's essentially enriched body lotion. Um, not my favorite, <laughs> but it worked for the trip. My soap, I typically take a bar soap with me just because I feel like they're easier to travel with and then I just leave it there. <laughs> so I, um, this is the Dove Mango and Almond Butter, which I love the smell of. So if you have not got this yet, go try it out. Got a toothbrush. As you can see, I, I do want to show y'all this real quick. I don't really organize it in here. I just kind of throw things in there. <laughs> so um, that's just what I do. Um, the other makeup brush that wouldn't fit in this pocket is this one from Sephora. This is the Pro number 50. And I like to use this for powder, um, like setting powder. Next up is this Clarins Purifying Gentle Foaming Cleanser. This was sent to me from Octoly, and I really just took it with me because it's small. <laughs> in here was my micellar water, but it's empty now. And I did not pack this with my liquids because I didn't have enough space, and they didn't do anything about it. So I was willing to risk it with this. They could have thrown it away if they needed to. Took a little miniature deodorant from Dove. Took my a full size 50 skin hydrovisor moisturizer with sunscreen because I could not be without it. They do make this in travel size, so before I go on my next trip, I will take definitely be purchasing that. Also took this makeup remover from Belief. This is the Aqua Balm Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm. I had never used this before this trip, but I actually really liked it. I really just took it with me because it's travel size. Also took this um, miniature glycolic 
night serum from Drunk Elephant, and I think I forgot to use it while I was there, so that was a waste. <laughs> I took a little miniature lip balm. This is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, which I absolutely love. And I took a couple of these packets. This is the Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty. And I had like a couple boxes of these little packets. So I just took these for nighttime use. Miniature toothpaste. And then in here, I had Q-tips. They've fallen out. <laughs> but I always stick my Q-tips in this back pocket here. So I have my Q-tips back here. I also had my little cotton squares back here. This is the only one I have left. Um, yeah, so sometimes if I'm not going on an airplane and I don't need to take little cases with me, I will just stick everything in this big empty space. And I'll typically, if I'm traveling like that, I'll typically sit by perfumes here and, um, everything else will kind of just go in the middle like before. So you may notice that I did not have any hair products in there, but that's typical for me. I do not like to carry my hair products with my face products because hair products are really messy and well for me anyway so i typically put them in a cosmetic case that i'm not worried about messing up and i put my scarves and everything else in there for my hair so i don't pack my hair products with my other products that's why you didn't see any in there all right so let's go ahead and get into the pros and the cons of this beautiful bag so let's start with the pros first up this thing is a beauty I think it would look so nice out on display. So if you wanted to keep this on your vanity or like on a dresser or something in your room where you kind of use it as a decorative piece, I think it's absolutely gorgeous for that. That's not how I use mine just because I don't really have a space where I think this would look really nice. But I will say whenever I go to a hotel, this is out. I do not stick this in the bathroom. I sit it out somewhere where it looks really pretty and I can just admire it my entire trip. <laughs> The next pro is that this fits quite a bit. I like being able to carry my makeup and all my skincare and everything all in the same bag, including perfume. So I know different strokes for different folks. Some people like to carry a bunch of little toiletry bags. I personally like to have this all in one most of the time. The next pro is that this looks like classic Louis Vuitton. And so with that being said, this is definitely a piece that I will be passing down to my daughter. I think it's going to hold up well, especially since I have the handle wrapped. I think it's really going to hold up well. I do keep, I do store this in a closet, so I don't foresee it getting damaged or wearing down. We all know Louis Vuitton canvas is very hard wearing, and I use this bag. I do not baby it. I did not buy this as a showpiece, but I think as I use it over the years, of course, I will probably get some wear on it, but I think that will just add to the character, and I hope my daughter will appreciate that when she's the age where I give this to her. <laughs> um, but honestly, I couldn't see myself being without this. So if I give this to her, I'm probably getting another one. <laughs> but yeah, I just think this would be a great thing to pass down to a daughter, to a niece, whatever. Um, yeah, I think it's gorgeous and definitely classic Louis Vuitton looking. The next pro is that based on the size of this bag, it's actually not super expensive. Now, the pricing has gone up on this, but when I purchased this, it was, I think, around like $800 or $900, probably around $900. I think it's over a thousand now. I could be wrong. I'll go ahead and insert the price here in the video. But still, when you compare it to other bags of this size, even other toiletry bags, I think you get a lot of bang for your butt with a Nice BB, especially also if you compare it to like the Nice Mini and the Nice Nano, this one is better priced based on size than the other sizes. Now let's get to the cons. Now I have to say, I love this bag, but there are some definite cons to it, um, just depending on how you look at it. The first one I will say is the Vachetta handle. Now I personally think the Vachetta is gorgeous. I love when it patinas, but I do keep it wrapped for the simple sake for the simple reason of that this is a toiletry bag and I have makeup in here. So if I'm touching this with makeup -y hands, I don't want to ruin my handle. Um, now, of course, they could have done this in black, but I honestly like the way the Vachetta looks. And so I wouldn't change that, but it could be a con because, you know, Vachetta is kind of delicate. Um, also, with this piping along here, I have had a bag with Vachetta piping before and a long time ago, but I did experience wear at the corners. However, that was a bag that I carried all the time. This is just something that I'll use for travel, so I'm not concerned about it. But I do know that with some Louis Vuitton pieces that have this Vachetta piping, you get rubbing that you can't really get rid of. Mine, 
doesn't have any. I don't know if I mentioned this already, but I've had this bag for over two years. I think I got it in 2019 or either at the end of 2018. And I have carried it probably about maybe 10 times. I mean, unfortunately, 2020 we really didn't go on many trips. <laughs> so, you know, it is what it is. But I've used it probably about 10 times. The other con for some people, not really for me, but for some people is that because this is kind of just an open hole, you don't really have any organization inside the bag. Um, now for me, that's not a problem because if I want to use organizers inside, I can. But I know for some people that drives some people crazy. So that's really just a personal preference thing. Another con that I have is that this bag is pretty big. So if you're using this for air travel, you will have to either put it inside of your purse like I do. Like I typically, when I go on an airplane, I carry my Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM or GM. This fits inside of that perfectly. If you have the MM, it takes up a lot of room in there, but that's okay with me because I'm not packing this baby on a plane. However, you could pack it in a suitcase, but it will take up a lot of room, but I don't do that because I'm not gonna check any of my designer pieces on a plane. Now for road trips, I just sit this out on my car seat and look at it my entire drive if I'm driving by myself. <laughs> if I'm not driving by myself, I sit in the trunk, I don't pack it inside anything and it's just like a joy to look at. And now that I think about it, that's not really a con, that's really just a sizing issue. So really it's about how you travel, what pieces you have, and how you're going to use it. So I, I guess let's not call that a con. Let's just say that that's something you should know about the bag. And that's really it for the pros and cons. So overall, I absolutely love the Nice BB. I would still highly recommend it. Even though the price has gone up, I still think it's really worth it. And honestly, <laughs> like I kind of wish I had two of them so I can keep one on the shelf, but <laughs> I know that's ridiculous and I'm not gonna do that, but I just love this bag so much. It brings me so much joy. I have it in a place in my closet where I see it every day and I just love the look of it. And I don't know, there's just something about it that I think is totally worth it, guys. So if you're considering the Nice BB and you think it's something that you will use, I would definitely recommend it, hands down. Don't hold back, get it while you can, get it before the price goes up again, but it's just a beautiful piece and I think will be a piece that I have in my collection forever and then pass down to my daughter. So it's been a while since I did a bag review. So please let me know down below if I forgot anything, if you have any questions on anything. Do you own the Nice BB or do you own any other sizes of the Nice? Let us know down below what you think of them, why you chose the one that you have, all of that. So anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. Also, follow me over on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.